They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, when it comes to one of the all-time best youngsters in my charitable programs, there are at least a thousand photos showing what a wonderful human being this young man is. A wonderful son, a wonderful brother, a wonderful mentor to his siblings and to all sorts of Winning Ways children as well. Later, we will hear about how Tyreek Mullins came to Winning Ways. But right now, let's hear about what he has done in Winning Ways. So what has young Tyreek Mullins done for and with Winning Ways? Well, more accurately, I should say, what hasn't he done for the Winning Ways organization? Yeah, I know, I know that's a cliche, but like most cliches, it is one because it is true. Tyreek reminds me of when people say, this guy is such a complete football player, he did everything but sell the popcorn. Well, Tyreek sells the popcorn. They also say, well, his job is chief cook and bottle washer. That, to me, is limiting what he has done. There are so many stories about Tyreek Mullins that I could tell over the years he was first being mentored in Winning Ways, and then in the years since he's been a mentor for Winning Ways. Most importantly, and obviously so, is the way he has treated the young people in my program. He has been respectful, sincere, and interested in each and every one of them and in each and every one of their stories. And he talks to them, but more importantly, he listens to them. He gets people involved. He has all those great qualities of natural leadership. And through it all, there is that perpetual smile. If you asked anyone who has ever met Tyreek in Winning Ways or anywhere else, what did you first notice about this young man? It's the smile. And he smiles because he is a happy person, but he also has an inner beauty of giving. Let me take the Jackie Robinson quote that I use so often and I love to do so. A life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. That defines Tyreek Mullins. Later on in Tolly's Awesome Friends, we'll hear from his brother Dante, who has a similar quote from Roberto Clemente that also talks about what makes Tyreek so special. But the thing that I think about when I'm looking through all the photos and I'm remembering all the anecdotes that Tyreek has been involved in is he's always putting himself in other people's shoes, always asking, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? When he first came to Winning Ways and we did some very, very small things for Tyreek, he was overwhelmingly grateful, but he's a great sharer. If you gave him a couple of things, he would share them with the other children. And now as he has gotten older, he has again and again, as one of the great leaders in my Winning Ways program, done this remarkable job of teaching young people to share, teaching young people to learn, and teaching young people to believe in themselves. He and I discussed this early on when he joined Winning Ways as a student at Central High School. And we talked an awful lot about when you believe in yourself, you have to continually try to stretch the boundaries, achieve the things you once thought were unachievable. Well, Tyreek Mullins does that not only for himself, but now as one of my all-time best mentors, he does that for so many other children as well. There's really only one Tyreek. Pep Boys on West Allegheny, just a couple of blocks away from Fairmount Park. It is one of the most interesting corporate presences you'll ever find at one of the most iconic intersections anywhere in Philadelphia. The very famous Five Points, where you have some of the busiest and noisiest car and truck traffic anywhere in Philadelphia. You see you have Allegheny, you have Hunting Park, you have Henry Avenue. There are five points that intersect here, and there are three, that's right, three Pep Boys venues. You have the Pep Boys Express Auto Parts and Supply Store. You have the Pep Boys Service Center and Tire Store. And then you have the Pep Boys Corporate Headquarters. And the story of Tyreek Mullins at this intersection at the Pep Boys locations is a fascinating one. Tyreek Mullins has been impressing me and other people involved with Winning Ways for quite a while impressing us in so many ways. But what makes his Winning Ways work even more impressive is that he has time for other children, even though he is doing so much for his siblings, day in and day out, and working full time. 
and working to eventually get that college degree he so wants. The Win the Waves Foundation has taught me a lot. Actually makes me hope that after I'm done um, with my degree at Drexel and I'm in a better spot, I can actually start an organization like this myself to help others. I feel that it's important to help young kids because that's where it begins. It's actually programs just like this, the Win and Ways Foundation, because before I was involved with this, I had never been on a plane. I had never been, well, out of contiguous states. And it just lets me know, like, if you get involved, you can do so much more than what you're used to. The world just seems so much larger. It actually told me that there are good people out here. There's actually a lot of good people out here. And no matter how much you hear about the violence, there are people trying to do good. Me being the oldest has uh, showed my younger brothers and sisters a lot. They're all on a great path in school. They all are all involved after school. And they all ha have a bright future ahead of them. My grandma. I'm actually her first grandbaby. The, o the oldest of uh, my mom's children. My mom's actually the oldest of my grandmother's children, so we always were really close. Everyone is unique in their own way. So something, I may have a talk with Dante, and I have try to have a talk the same way with my younger brother, and it goes in one ear and out the other, so it's a different approach each time to get through. That was actually taught me a lot about being punctual, uh, customer service, face-to-face -face, um, relations. And actually, my first day, someone had a heat stroke inside the building. And I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't the best place for me. But I stuck it out, and I'm still here. But actually, with my promotion, it just showed me that it's being noticed. Even when I don't think people are watching, they are. Like, my hard work actually paid off. In the store, I was actually in charge of setting displays. And when um, there was actually an issue with one of the displays where everyone else in the company couldn't get it to work. And I somehow managed to make it work. And the guys over in the corporate office was um, actually couldn't figure out how I got it to work when no one else could. And even their team couldn't figure it out. I actually always been a stickler for detail. So like if something's crooked on the shelf, I have to fix it. Not even at Pet Boys. I could be walking through a Walmart and I'll be just stuck there just uh, redoing the entire shelf. I actually met Don back in high school when I was um, fulfilling my community service commitment. And he had a uh, gift wrapping stand in uh, Plymouth Meeting Mall to raise money for the underprivileged children. I actually found out through a relative and I just figured, ah, cool, I could get my community service. I, it wasn't until I got there that I found out it was with Don. It actually just happened. I was just there doing my community service and then he um, realized how eager I was to help and how involved I was with the community and it struck him in a great way. Coming up on Tolly's Awesome Friends, more time spent with Tyreek Mullins, time well spent with an outstanding young man who has his sights set very high, as well he should.